podcast so today i'm going to be showing you 10 easy ways to spice up a very simple word i know a lot of times when i'm writing quotes or something i like have a vision for it but i don't really know how to write certain words so that's what i'm going to be showing you all today so without further ado let's get started so the first one is very simple um the word that i'm going to be writing is cactus so I'm going to write like a basic calligraphy font, I guess. So I will show it to you. So I wrote it and normal, but to wait, a little way to spice it up is adding three little dashes. And I just think that's super cute. Make sure you look at other ones, make sure you write them the same because you wouldn't want one one way and then the other side another. But I just love that. I think it gives it an extra pop of um, <laughs> design, I guess. So now we're on to the second one so what i'm going to do for this is it's like shading it but instead of filling it you're going to add like a design i'll show it to you i'll do the word flower So you have that, but then you are going to go down and act like you're shading it and just add little lines everywhere on all the down strokes. So anytime that your pen went down, you're just going to want to add a line. When you're done with that, I'm going to be adding stripes in mine, but you can really add whatever you're, you want to, whatever you think is best for the thing. You could add circles in there, whatever. I like doing stripes because it's kind of plain and simple, but then also if you have like ones where they cross like the F right there, um, it's just simple to add like the little stripe and it will kind of go with how they touch. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I also love how that looks. It's just an easy way to spice up a simple little word like flower. The third one I am doing. Oh, that is a terrible three. Okay. Well, the third one I'm doing, I'm going to use the word sunshine. And you will see why in a second. So... So I have the word sunshine here, and usually I would go back and shade all these like I did right there in flower, but just for the purpose of making this video a little faster, I'm not going to be doing that. So an easy way to spice up this word is just by adding a sun in the corner. You can do it wherever you want. I'm just doing it on the S. You can just kind of make a little sun however you would like. I'm just doing basic spikes, I guess. I don't know, like little sunshine marks. And I just love how that looks because it's adorable. <laughs> so for number four, it is um, kind of like the sunshine one, kind of the same inspiration for that. So I'm going to be writing mountains. You will see why in a second. Okay, so for this, I know that's not the best word ever, but um, 
for this one, it's very kind of simple. I don't know. If you can do the sunshine one, you could probably do this one, but you're just drawing mountains on top of the letters. So just kind of like that. Like I said, it's super easy. Not really that complicated. Number five. So for this one, you've probably seen it before. I wouldn't doubt that you haven't. So I'm just going to be writing <laughs> light bulb, which you'll probably understand now what I'm doing. You know what? I'm just gonna write light because I'm not even gonna try to fit it all in one line. Okay, so I've got light right here where I stopped it short. You're just gonna wanna go farther and you're just gonna add like a tiny little light bulb. I'm going down, so kind of like you're making an eye, then like stress out the bottom part and make a light bulb. So how I'm going to do this is I'm kind of adding little squiggly lines, I guess. I don't know if it's like the bottom part and then a bulb <laughs> for the top part. And I'm just going in and adding like tiny little lines since that's how it looks on one and a glare because there's usually glare. So there's my little light word. <laughs> I don't really like how I added that little part so I probably wouldn't add that. If I did it again, it seems like a good idea at the time, but you know, those will always work out how you expected. Number six. So for this one, you are literally just going to write capital letters. If you can do those, then you can do this. <laughs> and I will write together. I'm literally just looking at words and trying to use those because I cannot make up words on my end. So you're going to want to make them cute though. So you're going to do like littler marks so kind of like that and then we're gonna go over again and make it cuter don't worry So now that I wrote that, you are just going to want to go and shade out um, the downstrokes, but I'm only going to do the left side because I like how that looks. <laughs> so I don't want to have too much shading going on. Number seven, <laughs> I actually had to do this again because I literally just messed up last time I tried to do this. So I'm going to try to do it right this time. You've seen this before, I know, because it's like everywhere, but I'm just going to do it in a different way and incorporate it into calligraphy. So write the letter, the word love in the font of your choice but don't write the O. And you can do this with any word, I'm just choosing love. I almost did it, but I didn't, I stopped. And you're just gonna wanna leave like a space, however much room you would like. Okay, so now you're gonna go back in that space and draw whatever you want. 
So for me, um, I'm just gonna draw a cactus because cactuses are cute. So there is my little word with cactus. I kind of like how it turned out. The cactus isn't the best. <laughs> it kind of looks like a deformed roll or like hamburger bun because like the little seeds on it. I like added way too many, but you know what? It's, we're gonna work with it, so it's good. Eight, which is a terrible eight. Um, so for this one, I am doing a banner just because I'm not <laughs> trying not to do a lot of them, but I'm going to do one because I really like banners and how they look. So I'm going to start off with my banner. And I did make it slanted, I know. Great job. Okay, so I'm going to do the bottom one. Now, you can do this wherever you want. I like to go more towards the bottom. I don't know why I know some people like to do it in the middle, but I like to go more towards the bottom. You just wanna go out, literally. That's all you're doing is going out. Now you're gonna to wanna to slant back in if you don't know how to do a banner. And I stop right there along that line, you can see. And then go back out just until you feel is right. And you're just gonna go in about like right here I guess it doesn't really matter I'm just going to there and you're going to connect it up and then you're going to want to take that point to that point and just do a little line right there like that and sorry if my voice is bad I don't have a cold or anything it's just like weird and dry <laughs> I guess and if you want, you can add little lines right there. You don't have to, it's all your choice. I think it just, again, adds it like a little spark of detail. And you can just write a word. I'm gonna write my name. Number nine. So this is more for like a bullet journal header or just any kind of header. I'm going to write header because I can't think of a better word. So you are just going to do a long line, then start writing what you want to write. But then you're running it, pick it up and do it again. You can add little things like little lights hanging down, whatever you want. I'm just gonna leave it right here for right now. And number 10. Okay, that is like terrible. Do you see all that right there? Like that's just sad. Okay, number 10. This is another like header kind of thing, but I'm not gonna write header, I'm gonna write title instead. So you're gonna wanna write your word So I wrote title, and now you're just gonna wanna do like three lines. You can write how many ever you want, but I'm going to do actually two because I feel like that would look better. Extra design to make it more fun and pop. So we have our 10 ways. We'll go back on the page, nope. Um, and look, I have to use a green lid because I lost the other one. If you want to know what kind of pin this is, this is a Aqua Pin Graphics. 
and it's also got the brush pen and if you would like to see a brush pen tutorial I kind of gave you shading hacks and tricks but I didn't really show how to use a brush pen so if you would like to see that make sure you just let me know but I really enjoy this pen I probably use a fine liner way more though you can see that it's nice so it would come into focus okay there you go I really like that fine liner it's like amazing but yeah like my lid so those are the 10 things i hope you like this video make sure you like and share and comment on this video and if you want to be in next week's shout outs make sure you comment but for this video shout outs is slime sisters guys you gotta step up because they get like every video shout outs they're always the first to comment so y'all gotta make sure y'all comment before them i want to see a competition to see who can comment before slime sisters so Let's do it. Because Slime Sisters, y'all are amazing, awesome. But I want to see if they can beat you because y'all are just so good at that. So I will see you at next videos, which will be on Wednesday next week. But I'm going to have to go for now. I will see you later. Goodbye. That was amazing. No, I can't even do that. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, goodbye.